Hi, Josh Bolton here with IB Times TV. Big news in London today where Julian Assange is still camping out at the Ecuadorian embassy, even after British police have served him a surrender notice this morning. He has been there for the past nine days as a last-ditch effort to avoid being extradited to Sweden. He was in communication with the Ecuadorian president, Rafael Correa, at the beginning of all this and has temporarily taken refuge in the embassy until they get back to him in regards to political asylum. Susan Benn speaks on his behalf from the Julian Assange Defense Fund. Mr. Assange has been advised that he should decline to comply with the police request. This should not be considered any sign of disrespect. Under both international and domestic UK law, asylum assessments take priority over extradition claims. Assange, who was wanted for questioning in Sweden on sex crime allegations, risks being arrested the moment he steps outside the embassy for breaching his bail terms. Assange's big fear is that if he is extradited to Sweden, he will be then moved to the United States where he faces life imprisonment or the death penalty for charges related to espionage. Diplomatic conventions are the only thing keeping the British police from going inside and physically removing Assange. The rules are that the police can't go inside without authorization from Ecuador. But even if Assange is granted asylum, there's no way of traveling to Ecuador without passing through London. More as this story develops. Josh Bolton, IB Times TV.